Urban Kids, here we are again with Church Online. Thank you guys for joining us today. Today we are on part three of our series on plan and purpose. So let's get started with our game. Hi Urban Kids, I hope you had a great week and welcome to the game. So today we're going to be playing a game of Pictionary, but this picture has a little bit of a twist. We're going to be making things out of clay and then you guys have to guess what it is. If you guys get it right, you get five points. Let's get into our first round. So if you guess Bob the tomato, you are uh, correct from the Veggie Tales. Give yourself a pat on the back and five points. That it was a snail, it's Larry the snail. And if you guys had got it right, you have five points. If you didn't get it right though, don't worry, there is other rounds. So was this round really challenging for you? But if you got the right answer, which is the Angry Birds, you get five points. If you guys guess that correct, yes, it was an octopus, but as you know, octopus has eight legs. This one fought in the great octopus war. Um, so if you guys all got that one correct, five points for you. So, if you got that one correct, yes, that was a rose. Tricked you a little bit thinking that was the rose, didn't I? So, if you guys got that one correct, five points for you. So, if you got 25 out of, out of 25, give yourself a pucky pucky. But if you didn't do it as good, still give yourself a pat on the back because you did a great effort. Why'd you smash up and redo it? Because it was ruined. It wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be. Well, God told me to come over here to watch you. I'm not too sure what he's trying to teach me. Oh, I think I might know. What is it? Well, imagine that I'm God and imagine that this clay is people. What do you notice? Well, you, I mean God, mm -hmm. is creating different mold thingies. I mean people mm. and doing it with a lot of care. Yeah, exactly, but is there anything else? Um, 
Well, I guess all these different molds have different purposes. Did God create us with different purposes too? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the plate over there is used to hold food. Then the cup hold water, and then the pot to hold beautiful flowers. Huh. So God told me to come over here to watch you, to understand that God holds us all in his hands, shapes mm. us and molds us into different purposes. Exactly. And if God changes his mind, then he can reshape us for our own different purposes in our lives as well. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Okay, today for our memory verse, I want you to stand on up to your feet and you are going to march like a soldier and we're going to do a chant, okay? I'm going to say the first part, then you're going to follow with the second part. Alright, so let's just do a bit of a practice one. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. As I give you a hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Ho ho! <laughs> All right, how did that go for you? Did you manage to copy me exactly? I think we should try it again. So let's get pumping together again. Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Hoo ha! That's twice through that we have done the memory verse, so hopefully it is getting in there because next week is our last week and I will be testing you to see how well you've been listening over the last couple of weeks. If you can't remember it, look up in the Bible, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. If I got all of you to write down five special and unique things about yourself, or skills and hobbies that you had, and then I got all the different pieces of paper and I read them all out, we would have lots of very different descriptive words on each of the papers. Now isn't that cool? that God has made all of us so different with lots of little things that make us. He knows how many freckles we have, what we're scared of and what we are good at. He even put desires in our hearts, which means he has made you the way you are for a reason. He wanted you that way. Maybe you really enjoy certain things because that is a gift or a talent that he has given you that he wants you to use. If you find it hard to know the good things about yourself, ask a parent or a best friend what they think about you and they will be able to tell you some great things. Well, take those great things and start using them. God sees you as someone amazing and we should try to see ourselves that same way. Let's listen to the story about Jeremiah and the potter. A potter is someone who makes something out of clay, often like plant pots or vases or really any kind of vessel. Jeremiah learned a valuable lesson about God and people that he created. This story is from Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 1 to 6. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me. O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter does? declares the Lord. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Okay, I know I normally leave the questions till later, but hey, I've got a few questions now. The first one, what was wrong with the first pot that was being made by the potter? Well, it was marred, which means that it was ruined. Because it was ruined, what did the potter do? He formed it into another pot. Does a potter make all his pots alike? Why or why not? No, he makes them all for different purposes. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're little. Maybe he's made a bowl or soup, 
or maybe he's made a shallow bowl, maybe he's made a cup for liquid, or if you're like me, a cup for making cakes in. <laughs> Question four, what does the Lord compare the potter and the clay to? Well, he compares the potter as God and the clay as God's people, which is us. What does this story tell you about the importance of people? It tells you that everyone is important because everyone is made by God and made differently for different purposes. What God created you for is different to your family and different to your friends and different to me. Just like the potter, God has made some people to do some things and others to do other things. The great thing is, whatever purpose we have been given, we can be happy because God is the one who gave it to us. There is one difference though. God doesn't make mistakes. He made you on purpose and he loves you. Now, if we were meeting together in person like we normally do, I would have gotten all of you now to get some Play-Doh out and to start making a vessel. A vessel is just something that holds something. So like a vase or a bowl, a plate, a cup or a mug, so on and so forth, things like that. After we had made all of them, I was going to get us to compare what we have made to everybody else's. And I bet you would have noticed something straight away. All the vessels that we would have made would have been different. One person might have made a big plate, Another one might have made a bowl or a vase. And I can guarantee that yours would have been different to every other person's there. Even if you made the same thing, there was something that would have been different. That's your fingerprints on there. Even if that was the only difference, it's still different. And this is just like God. He made you exactly the way you are for a reason. Anyone who belongs to God can be used by God. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you made us and you are the best maker of all. Thank you that we are different to each other and that you have made us the way we are for a reason. We are grateful for all the gifts and talents that you have given us, especially the greatest gift of all, Jesus. Help us to always remember your love for us and to help us to use our gifts to glorify you every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Boy, have I made it easy for you this week. But I guess that's kind of because we've already asked a few questions in the lesson, hey? Well, this week, with only two questions, it should be super fast and super easy. So let's get into it. Question one. How is God like the potter? He made each of us with care and with different purposes. Question two and final question. How are we like the clay? Well. God shapes us and molds us to be different and have different purposes. Well, how did you go with the world's shortest quiz? Hopefully you did well. Isn't it nice to know that God made you on purpose with a plan? God's got something special planned for you. Just make sure to spend time with him to get to know him really well so that you can really make sure that you are doing the things that he has planned for you. Well, thanks for joining us today, River Kids. I hope you are all looking after yourselves. And remember to try and do something nice and helpful for your parents today. God bless. See you guys next time.